Hello guys, myself Ankita. Today in this video, we shall see another problem on lead code, height checker. So a school is trying to take an annual photo of all students. Students are asked to stand in a single file line in non-decreasing order by height. So let this ordering be represented by an integer as expected, where each element is expected height of height student in line. So you are given an array heights representing the current order of the students are standing in. So each height uh, uh, element represents the height of height student in line, zero indexed. And written the number of indices where height of first array, uh, original array is, is not equal to the expected array. So the given question is they have given the height array and all the students are standing in this format. So first student has a uh, height of one, second is one, one, then third has four, two, one, three. You have to make them to stand in a non-decreasing order by height. That means it's in an increasing order. So you have to uh, copy the same array heights to the, uh, another array called expected, create another array called expected. But in the expected array, these elements should be in the non-decreasing order so that you are making the students to oh, stand in a ascending order. One comma one comma four two one three. So this is the height array, and you have to make the standings to uh, line in uh, stand in a. You have to make the students line uh, stand in a non decreasing order. That means one comma one comma one two comma three comma four. All these elements represent height of the height element. Once this is done. Now you have to return the number of indices where height of i is not equal to expected of i. It means you can see first uh, element in both arrays are equal. Here also it's equal, one and one. Here it is four and one. So yeah, this is one index, zero, one, tooth index it is. Then here also it's equal, here it is not equal. So this is fifth in there, uh, fourth index, two, three, four. Then here also they are not equal. So this is fifth index. The total number of indices is two, four, five, two, four, and five. That is number three. Hence, so you have to get the number of indices where the where you tell that students are not in the increasing order in the original array. The point at which. You could say four, two, four, five do not match. So you return three as the output. Similarly for this as well. See here you can see all the indices, corresponding indices in each array do not match. That's why you return 5. Then if you go into this problem 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And yeah, it's already in ascending order. So all of them matches. So you, you need not to return any value. It will be 0. So how do we solve this problem? So at first if they are given a height array, you have to make a copy of the height array to the expected. New array called expected. So create a new array called expected and copy elements of height array to the expected array. That is in my arrays dot copy of arrays dot copy of height. So while performing arrays dot copy of height, can't we perform just like event of new array is equal to height already existing array. If you do this, this is doing nothing but a reference to an expected array. So expected array is pointing and reference to the height array. So whatever changes you do, uh, yeah, this height is referencing an ex uh, what, referencing the pointer to the expected array. So if you do any changes in expected array, it will reflect in the height array. So this is not what we want. We want to copy the elements of the height array to the expected array. So that is done using this condition. So once this is done, now you compare, uh, you just run the initial as a variable call count equal to zero and run the follow. So at each ith element, you compare the values of both the arrays. If they are not equal, increment the value of count. So in count equal to zero, then let's initialize a Declare initialize the new array called expected. 
there is nothing but array dot copy of for heights. So once this is done, along with heights, you have to mention the height length as well. So comma, how much you need to copy heights dot. So you are copying all the elements of height to the expected array, new expected array. So we run the following for in i equal to zero, i lesser than heights dot length. I plus plus if heights of I is not equal to expected of I, if they are not equal, then increment the value of count count plus plus. Finally, you have to return the count. After copying the uh, element of the height to the expected array, you have to sort the expected array. Right? Only then you get this uh, sorted of the heights. Uh, array. So array dot sort of expected. successfully submitted if you have any doubts please drop it in the comment section we'll come back with another video in the next session until then subscribe to the channel and keep learning thank you